I know this might just seem like another microphone video with a microphone test and for those of you who only care about that part then sure you can skip to that part in the video but if you've got some patience and you want to learn something that you maybe didn't know or you wanted to learn more about then uh, stick around because I promise this video is going to be a good one. So with microphones, there's basically two types of microphones that you can get for your PC or your Mac. There is a microphone that just simply connects via the USB connection, very simple, plug and play, and depending on the microphone and how much you spend, you get different types of microphones like cardioid, bi-directional, omnidirectional, some of them have little gain and volume knobs on them as well. So there's some really good microphones that are coming out that are just a USB connection. But if you're a streamer, or maybe you're someone who wants to take your audio quality for your next conference call, or for your next, I guess, video meeting, or whatever it might be, to the next level, or maybe you're just doing like at-home recordings for a podcast or something, then something to consider is potentially going down the avenue at looking at XLR microphones. So XLR microphones, or I guess devices with an XLR interface, is pretty much a, I guess, a industry standard in the music business, in the entertainment business, for things like microphones. So you can plug them into a mixer, you might have multiple microphones and you can adjust the level. So XLR definitely gives you a lot more versatility with the type of microphone that you can connect. You know, you might have the, the, the platform there for an XLR uh, connection, start off with a very basic microphone, and then as time goes on, you can change those microphones out without having to change your whole platform. So XLR definitely opens up a whole, I guess, range of products that you might not have, I guess, had exposure to sticking with that same USB connection. Now, XLR, because it is a, I guess type of connection that is really all about audio. It does mean that it's not a simple plug and play connection like USB that goes into the back of your computer or in the side of your laptop. You will need a few other things. And the reason why I guess I wanted to make this video is that there are a lot of XLR microphones on the market. And I mean, some of the most popular ones like the ones from companies like Shure who make great products, their SM7B microphone, which is kind of like the go-to microphone right now for a lot of streamers um, and podcasters and things like that. Those microphones started about $750 here in Australia, or around about $450 in the US. So it is definitely quite expensive and you still have to get a bunch of other products to make that microphone really sound its best. The microphone that I'm gonna show you today is an XLR microphone from a company called Thronmax. So this guy here actually in Australia right now goes for around about $120 in Australian currency or about I think it's $79 in the US. So compared to something like the SM7B from Shure, it's definitely great value. And I guess even though you're getting something that might seem quite cheap on paper in comparison, you're still gonna be getting something that sounds absolutely amazing. As I've actually been using this for quite some time now, testing it out, getting people's feedback and thoughts, and everyone has told me so far that it sounds awesome. So for context, before I get into the setup, the boom arm, the cable, the microphone, the Focusrite audio interface, that all comes to, in Australia, in currency, around about 480 Australian dollars. So again, you know, comparing the fact that the SM7B from Shure is a $750 microphone alone without anything else to go with it to actually run that microphone, you're able to get a complete setup like the one that I've got behind me, and I'll leave links to everything down in the description in case you wanna sort of emulate or get some inspiration for the setup that you wanna do at home if you're a streamer or something like that. Um, so that way you can sort of go away from this video with a bit of confidence knowing when you go into the shop or when you go online and you're trying to like look for the right things to buy, you can use this as a bit of a baseline. All right, so if you found this video helpful, maybe consider hitting the like button as it helps me and helps the channel out. Um, I'll stop stalling and now we'll get into the setup of this Thronmax M Dual Zone microphone. Okay, so we're here at my gaming desk, my video editing desk, where I do all of my work, stream, all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, we've got the boom arm set up with the XLR cable, the microphone. You know, I've been using this particular setup now for well and truly over a month, maybe even more. Um, but this boom arm here costs around about $110 here in Australia. Very, very simple. Um, can it be adjusted in a few different points? 
and then we've got an XLR cable from Thronemax that is around about, I think, $20, $30. Um, you can buy any XLR cable though, just get the one that is going to be, I guess, as long as you need it for your particular setup. I think this cable is five meters. That's just so I give myself a little bit of room um, for you know cable management and that kind of stuff. Um, Another thing to mention is that there is a shock mount included with this microphone. So again, $120 roughly here in Australia to get a microphone that also includes a shock mount. Most companies sell those separately. And the reason why you have a shock mount is so that when you're, you know, potentially, you know, you've got your microphone mounted here, um, this just basically screws in to the shock mount. Um, but a shock mount has like a little suspension sort of system. So it's on some little um, elastic cords here. And so that way when you're moving, you know, the boom stem around and maybe maybe uh, moving it closer or further from your mouth people aren't going to be hearing that sound from the microphone because it's kind of hovering on this little suspension system so it's a shock mount to prevent you know shock and impact to the microphone so definitely a really cool value add uh, for this microphone at this particular price point. Once you've got the actual microphone screwed in, um, make sure that you have the microphone logo actually facing your mouth. It's, it's really important that you're speaking straight on into the microphone, you're not talking down or to the wrong side of it. As this is a cardioid microphone, it's really made for vocals for you to be speaking directly into, either if you're speaking or if you're singing, it has to be all completely straight on into the front of the microphone. So once you've got your microphone mounted to the shock mount and your boom arm is in the right position, go ahead and do some cable management for the actual XLR cable on the boom arm so that way it's not getting, going to get in the way of anyone. And then grab the end with the, I guess, three little holes there and that will actually line and connect into the bottom of the microphone and you'll hear a little clip when you've pushed it all the way in and it's actually properly secure. And then from there, you wanna basically trace this XLR cable back to our audio interface. Okay, so now that you've got your cable in, it's mounted, we're gonna take a step back and now look at probably the most important part other than the microphone, which is this device here from a company called Focusrite. It's not made by Thronmax, but this device here, basically, this little box connects to your PC or your laptop by USB, so it's USB Type-C connection at the back. This little box here is actually the most expensive part. It's about $220, which is still, you know, nothing in terms of the XLR, you know, audio, audio interface world, but basically it is a mixer, but it also provides your microphone with 48 volt power via the XLR cable to the microphone so that essentially your microphone starts working. So once you've got your XLR cable inserted into the microphone input on the left hand side, you'll see basically down the bottom there that there are two little buttons. One is 48 volt and one is for air. This particular audio interface has some cool technology to make the microphone sound really, really good. But that 48 volt basically activates the microphone. So if you wanna mute the microphone, you would just turn it off or you could also go ahead and use the adjustment dial here. This is to adjust the sensitivity. So if you wanna do like ASMR kind of recordings, you could have that sensitivity all the way up. And when I'm speaking, you can actually see that because it's so sensitive, um, it's picking up my voice. If you're wanting to just you know speak normally into the microphone, maybe occasionally you might be gaming and, and yelling or something like that, um, you wanna turn that sensitivity down a little bit. So that way when you yell, it's not gonna blow out the person's eardrum. So you can adjust that um, as you like. From there, you've actually got here, um, I guess the next important part, which is your monitoring part. So you would get a pair of headphones like the ones that I have here and go ahead and plug those in on the very far right hand side. And what this will allow you to do now is not just hear the sounds coming from your PC, but there's a button here for direct monitor. And what that will mean is everything that you're saying into the microphone, you'll be able to hear that without any latency back into your headphones. So it's really important that you have that feedback so that way you know how you sound, you can adjust your volume of how loud or how quiet you're speaking, um, which is really, really critical for when you're streaming or maybe making a podcast or singing or whatever it might be. So this little box here is going to give you much, I guess, more granular control than you would get if you were to just be using a USB microphone. So all up the microphone, the boom stand, the cable, the little focus right device here is all around about $470 here in Australia, which I think is a really good, I guess, place to start at for XLR microphones. And then if you wanna upgrade your microphone down the track, 
You don't have to change out everything. You just change out the microphone and everything else stays the same. And then you just sort of redial those controls in. So now if you look on the Windows PC, um, you know, this little box here, because it is connected by USB, there is some software to download from the Focusrite website. But in our sound control panel area, you can see here for the speakers, it's saying Focusrite USB audio. So what that's meaning is essentially the headphones that I've got connected, or speakers, you can connect speakers into that as well. That sound is gonna be going through and being processed by the Focusrite. And then in the recording tab, you can see here we've got a digital audio interface for our recording. And then there is also this analog one here, um, which is the one that we actually wanna use for when we're actually recording through this particular microphone. So in this particular part here under advanced for the default format, you wanna have the channel as one channel 24 bit. So the listener is actually gonna hear you through both, I guess, the left and right headphone or through stereo on their laptop or on their PC. If you change it to two channel, it's only actually gonna come through on one side um, as it's you know only processing uh, one particular channel for the PC. So you wanna actually set it to one channel, I know it sounds confusing, to actually get it to work for both left and right audio, um, and then hit okay, and then you're pretty much set up and good to go um, for streaming, you know, so if you go into something like OBS, and if I bring that onto the screen here, you'll see that everything that I'm saying is actually moving on this little green bar down here, and now you can get a bit of an idea, um, I guess, on how this microphone will sound. So just to recap, you've got your PC, you wanna get that USB cable going into your audio mixer, the Focusrite in this case. From there, you're gonna take the XLR cable, plug that into the Focusrite at one end, and then into the microphone at the other get your microphone mounted, get it all positioned in the way that you want it, plug a pair of headphones in or a pair of speakers into the focus, right? So you can monitor yourself and you're pretty much off to the races and you're good to go for your next, uh, I guess, conference, for your next Skype call, for your next stream, whatever it might be. You're now gonna have a really awesome sounding um, microphone, which is actually quite cheap in comparison to something like the microphone setups that you can get from companies like Shure. So now that you know how to set all of it up and you know what you need, let me get into position and we'll get into the microphone test so you know how it actually sounds. Okay, so here we are at my desk, which is, um, I guess, where I stream and game and edit all my videos. And we've got the microphone set up in the position that I would normally have it in for when I'm doing, uh, like for example, a live stream. And everything that you're hearing right now is being processed and captured by the Thronmax M Dual Zone microphone and the Focusrite audio interface, which is then, I guess, being captured by Adobe Audition um, in software. So everything that you're hearing right now is completely unedited, completely raw. And uh, I think, you know, overall, this microphone sounds bloody amazing for the price. I'm actually so impressed and compared to, you know, a USB microphone or any of the USB microphones that I've used in the past, this definitely surpasses all of those in multiple ways. Now, obviously it is a little bit more expensive, but I think what it gives you is that versatility to change and really experiment with different microphones now that you've got this platform here, but also it's going to really elevate your I guess content, your live streams, your podcasts, voiceovers, even just like your conference calls and things like that to the next level where people are probably gonna be asking you just like they've asked me, like what microphone is that? It sounds awesome, where can I go and get one? It just sounds so much more professional, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in terms of the settings on the focus right, the sensitivity is set to around about 65%. And as you can see, I'm wearing a pair of headphones as well, um, going into the focus right, so I can actually hear myself back as I'm, I guess, making this recording. Um, and that's really helpful for me because then I know that I can, I guess, adjust the pitch of my voice um, or the volume of my, the volume of my voice to be louder or softer um, when I'm making a recording or on a phone call and it's just a little bit easier to focus on what I'm saying um, which I personally really like not everyone feels the same way but I definitely really enjoy it um, you don't have to use headphones if you want to just use speakers you can but just we be aware of using speakers that might you know come back through the particular microphone so if you are going to take um, your audio recordings quite seriously, you want to try and eliminate as much background noise as possible. Um, and what I'm going to do now is just for five seconds, I'm going to be completely silent, just so you can sort of hear um, how well this microphone picks up background noises or lack of um, in terms of the sound floor. So let me just be quiet for five seconds.
Okay, so that was roughly five seconds, and as you can see, it doesn't really pick up anything in the background. Like, my computer is right there. It's got a bunch of fans spinning in it. Can hardly hear that. And all you can really hear is... is the volume of my voice, the clarity. Um, let me know what you guys think. I personally love this, love this microphone. And a big shout out to Thron Max for, I guess, sending this over to allowing me to review it, but also to really help me in elevating my content, which if it's something that you care about, I definitely think you guys um, should be definitely checking out Thron Max and their products, either if you're all here in Australia or overseas. Um, they're on Amazon. There's a bunch of other websites in the US like BH uh, Photo, things like that you can check them out on. Um, but they're a bit of an unknown company at the moment, and I really think they should be getting more attention. Um, and if, like I said, you want to elevate your content, then I think a microphone from Thron Max is definitely going to be um, something to, to help you do that. All right, guys, so you're at the end of this video. If you want something else to watch, maybe go and check out some of the other microphone videos that I did. There's a little card up in the corner there, I think. Hopefully. Card, card.